Hi friends, uh, Sarvir, welcome back to my channel. So uh, uh, today we are going to uh, we are going to develop an application which will uh, help us to understand multiple concept of our lipids. We are going to we are going to take some you know sample data and we will develop application using customer, employee, and all those tables. And we will see uh, how this page process validation, JavaScript forms and report dashboard, all all these these things work in Oracle lipids. So we are going to, you know, uh, this is going to take multiple sessions actually, and multiple uh, recordings actually. And here we will see that how uh, things things will keep on getting developed, and we will see in the entire flow of the application. Okay. So for that, I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to show how we can do all these things. So let me share my screen, and uh, mm, let's get back to login page. Okay. So here we have this uh, Oracle Apex login page. Uh, so I have I already have a workspace. We are going to use this apex.oracle.com for this development. So I'm going to log in over here. Uh, the workspace what I have here is code with sort of a username I'll enter and the password. You can also maybe you can uh, create your own workspace and you can try all these things along with me so that you'll be able to uh, understand everything in in better way okay so uh, so i already have an application here demonstration hr i'm going to show this application to you so that you will get an idea that what exactly we are going to do okay i'll just show this application so that you will be um, you'll be able to understand what type of uh, data we are going to show and uh, uh, how this application is going to look like enter okay so here we have this uh, home page where we have all these tabs tiles basically dashboard customers order search orders order calendar and employees and here we have this nice navigation menu where uh, the same details you can find over here as well dashboard customer order search orders order calendar and employee okay now if i'll go to the order uh, sorry dashboard here we have this dashboard top customer order to, to, uh, total uh, total customer order total sales rep product status order modes and all those things in the customer tab we have list of all customers where we get this flexibility to create the customer okay with these details and uh, to edit the customer like this where all these things are getting we are getting pre-filled information over here and then we have this nice uh, filter, uh, basically smart search. Okay, when we click on this, uh, uh, I mean, it will get filtered as per the selection of the user. Okay, like like this. Okay, now we have uh, <clears throat> order search where we have this. Uh, the orders are there in in a card format, and again, uh, this smart search is there. So this smart search is going to. Uh, search the fields, search the data basically. Similarly, here we have uh, orders. So, so, so the first thing is uh, this is kind of master detail form. So this is master, uh, sorry, master detail report. This is master report. This is detail report. So when we click on this, the last one, let's say if I'll click on last one, corresponding detail report I'll get over here. If I'll click on this one corresponding detail report I'll get over here. So here, uh, I think the, the relation between these two is like, uh, let's say if we have, we have total order of 21863. So here uh, the, this, the bifurcation is there. We have unit price and quantity. So when we will do multiplication of unit price and quantity, we'll get some amount. And when, when we will do some of all these, we will get this 21863, so like this. So this is nothing but a master detail report. Now, if you will go to order calendar here, all these orders are like, we can see these orders on the calendar itself when this order got placed like this, okay? Now we have list of employees in this employee tab. Again, we here we have the same feature. We can create the employee and, um, uh, and we can edit the employee. <clears throat> so here you can observe multiple things like we have this is a mandatory field a required field okay because that's why this is highlighted in red color now this is a date field and then we have this select list 
So all these things we will learn. Now we will, when we will click on the supply changes, uh, this will get uh, inserted in a record or will get updated in the table, something like that. We have this delete button. When we click on delete, we are getting this pop-up message that would you like to perform this delete action? So all these things we will develop, okay? And some administration thing, okay? <clears throat> so these, these are some extra extra stuff so what we are going to do we are going to develop this application maybe we will keep this application in our mind then we will start developing the application and then we will uh, we are going to create entirely new application and uh, the difference will be it may possible that the look and feel of the the new application is going to get changed and somehow the these these information will get changed that we will see how how things will things are going to work okay so that is what I wanted to start with. Uh, in, in the next tutorial, I will show you how we can proceed and how we can start developing. That's all for today. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching the tutorial.